interesting. August 15th marks another year of sovereignty and freedom which is the greatest pride of every Indian. The 75th Independence Day this year, the celebration is one which shall go on all year to the next Independence Day. The tricolor fluttering high swells our hearts with pride, recognizing the unique journey our country has made and sustained. The sacrifice of the known and unknown brave hearts, the purity of their intent for a better tomorrow, emancipated, self-reliant, and the blessings of prosperity and progress as the wheel of time rolls on. The national anthem, sung with deep emotion and joy, simply adds to the goosebumps of the moment. The breathtaking audacity of the courageous souls who unconditionally put their lives on the line, the architects of our governance through the epic constitution, the sincerity and humility of the first leaders of our great nation, we remember each of them this day offering our unrestrained respect and gratitude. At this juncture, when the world has been brought to its knees by a microscopic bug, we strive, along with the citizens of this world, to rise yet again, phoenix-like, to overcome the effects of the pandemic, reposing our faith in the secular fabric of our constitution, giving ourselves to demolishing divisive forces using our voices in support of our great nation. We are an independent nation and this is a glorious 75th anniversary of the tryst with destiny we made long, long ago with the help of the indomitable freedom fighters from every part of the country. On this day, let's take an oath to have respect for our land, for its incredible diversity, for its forests and rivers, for the determination of the people to stand by each other in times both good and bad. A word of appreciation is a must for the infinite number of health and sanitary workers, those who transported the stranded from different parts of the world. The officials of every hue who have indeed proven that India still holds the ideals of Vasudeva Kudumbagam even as walls and gates of other nations were locked elsewhere. Together and forever, let us stand for each other to celebrate the glory of our incredible India and uphold the pride of being born as an Indian. Jai Hind! flag is a symbol of freedom. It is a symbol of unity and togetherness. The story of the national flag of India. It was at a meeting of the Constituent Assembly held on 22nd July 1947, the national flag of India was adopted in its present form. It served as the national flag of the Dominion of India between 15th August 1947 and 26th January 1950. Thereafter, it represents the Republic of India. It is really amazing to see the various changes that our national flag went through since its first inception. Similar to the first flag, the modification in the second flag 
was that the top strip had only seven stars denoting the Sutta Rishi. This flag was also exhibited at the Socialist Conference in Bali. Andy Besant and Logamanya Tilak hoisted the third flag during the home rule movement. This flag had five red and four green horizontal stripes arranged alternately, with seven stars in the Saptarishi configuration. The flag had a star and a crescent that occupies one corner of the flag, while the other was taken by Union Jack. Arguably, understanding the need for a national flag, Gandhi, in 1921, had asked Pendari Bengaya to design the flag with the symbol of the chakra or the spinning wheel. As we know the flag today is largely attributed to Bengaya. During the session of All India Congress Committee, which met at Mijawada in 1921, Bengaya presented this flag which was made of two colors, red and green, representing the two major communities that is Hindus and Muslims. To this, Gandhi apparently suggested the addition of a white strip to represent the remaining communities of India. The modifications later, the national flag was adopted in 1931. Red was replaced with saffron and the white stripe moved to the middle. The center of the flag had the spinning wheel or charka. The national flag of independent India was largely similar to the one on 1931 with the exception of Ashok Chakra replacing the Charka or spinning wheel. In the tricolor, the saffron on top symbolizes courage, the white symbolizes peace and the green stands for the auspiciousness of the land. The Dharma Chakra at the center stands for women and growth with the 24 spokes symbolizing 24 virtues. Namaste. I wonder if you have any guesses for the alumni that we shall meet today. I'm sure you'll be pleasantly surprised. First, we have Jyotsna Radhakrishnan of the class of 2004. Now, that's a name we all know here, right? She's trained in classical music and is a gifted playback singer, uh, I think, who came to fame with uh, the award-winning song. Sukhamani Nilava from Namal, that was filmmaker Kamal's movie. A standout memory for me was, now she was in class 11 when she uh, recorded, performed the song and won the award in our school, class 11 in our school. Uh, the standout memory is about her performing this for annual day at our school. It was dusk, twilight, and there was a hush upon the audience as if she had cast a spell with her mellifluous voice. As the MC for that cultural program, I distinctly remember this. As she ended the song and the applause grew, I said, indeed, in the Resamani Sandhya. Here's Jyotsana for us with a song. जो शहीद हुए हैं उनकी जरा याद करो कुर्बानी है मेरे वतन के लोगों जरा आँख में भर लो पानी जो शहीद हुए Next, we 
have Anupama Prem of the class of 2010. Now, she went on to study uh, at IHM in Bangalore and was trained to be a chef. However, a back injury made it difficult for her to continue as a chef. But as someone with uh, an understanding of food and the visual flavor it has, she went on to become a food stylist. Yes, you heard that right, a food stylist. Now, um, I'm sure we all know that she's probably living the dreams that a foodie thinks of, isn't it? Okay, now here's a fun fact. Um, Anupama is Arunima Prem's elder sister. Remember her from the first day? Our indigo pilot, Anupama is her eldest sister. Uh, let's listen and watch Anupama. Hi everyone, my name is Anupama. I passed out of BBB in the year 2010. I work for myself as a food stylist. Um, so what's food styling? It's the art of making food look good for the camera. Uh, it could involve different things like uh, cooking and plating food to make it aesthetically pleasing. I work hand in hand with uh, photographers during shoots uh, and food styling is a skill that's uh, useful for marketing and advertisement of food brands, restaurants and hotels. So I chose this career uh, to follow my passion for food uh, which brings me to the question today, what really is freedom? I think freedom gives us an opportunity to do what we love. We are free when we could pursue our passion and make choices to follow our dreams. We are free when we overcome our fears and embrace the uncertainties of life. So uh, on that note, I wish you all a happy Independence Day. Jai Hind.